I got a half marathon coming up in three days. I'm in the middle of the training for the full marathon. <laughs> I decided to spice things up and chuck in a half marathon in the middle of it. So this week I've been eating a extreme amount of carbs, nonstop. Uh, it's it's pasta, pasta, and pasta. And then on the side, I might just add some pasta. But all jokes aside, I'm not a huge person of taste. What I'm having for breakfast is a piece of bread. And then, um, you know, I let that digest a little bit. Then I'll have a peanut butter sandwich or something like that. But other than that, it's just pure carbs. I'm trying to stay away from the fats. And my training consists of running um, probably about a quarter of, of what I do, maybe a half. So usually I'm trying to get up to 50 to 60 kilometers a week. You know, I'm only halfway through my training right now. So I'm still amping it up. But that being said, I'm running probably 25, 30 kilometers this week. That's it. I'm really just taking a break. But yeah, I assume the day before, I'm not actually going to do too much. I think I'm just going to make it a movie day. A few moments later. This is the day before the race. Going out for a little jog, probably five kilometers, maybe less. I just want to do like 25 minutes. Kind of get the, I want to just get the legs kind of moving again. Make sure the, the muscles are activated. Took a little bit of a break. Went for a hike, 10K and then a 5K. Anyway, so this is the... This is my nice run in the fucking rain. Really fun stuff. So, the marathon's gonna be in the rain anyway. So fuck it, who cares? Gotta get used to this shit. But we're moving on, baby. Race day tomorrow. Here we go. Wait, hold up. We're not there just yet. You still got vital information to take in before you do your marathon. But yeah, so. Number one thing for me is that I already did this because I'm a little, uh, I'm a little hyper. I'm, I'm a little, because I have ADHD, man. I, I forget where stuff is. I'm lost all the time. Pack all your stuff. Make sure everything that you need in the race is ready to go. You got your shoes. You got your very comfortable shorts. You got your best pair of underwear, best pair of socks, and then obviously the shirt you're gonna wear. Make sure that's all set aside. Your race kit, your bib, all that stuff. I'm actually picking out my race kit the day of, which I've never done before, but I'm doing the race day of. Um, mainly because it's in Truro, it's about an hour drive, I'm just too lazy to get there. But the great thing about today, we're not going for a run today, I actually went for a nice hike. It's an absolute beautiful spot. I think it's secretive, nobody was there. Um, I don't know if, if people know about this spot, but it's beautiful, I got some drone footage here. Unbelievable. Anyway, the hike was good, the hike ended up being 7 kilometers. So I basically got a, a good amount of uh, movement in. I'm th th that's the goal. I'm not trying to improve my cardio through this week. I'm just trying to keep the legs moving, right? So yeah, probably what I'll eat the day of the morning of is a, a breakfast bag with peanut butter on it, a banana and some water. Um, hopefully I'll have some coconut water left. If not, I gotta go pick some up. Probably about 1.5 liters, uh, probably two hours prior to the race is that that's what I'll drink up to. Um, maybe a liter actually, and then I taper off. So the closer I get to the to the race, I'll just basically be seven. I piss a lot. My time was 1:48, uh, my last half marathon. So I'm looking to break that. Hopefully, I can get under uh, one one hour and 40 minutes. That will make me so fucking happy. Yeah. So let's get right into the race. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Got a lot 